Hello everyone, welcome to the seventh lecture of mass transfer. This lecture is related to diffusion of component A through a non-diffusing B. Now, what is its meaning? Let us consider a beaker, and there is some liquid in its bottom. Let us consider there is ethanol. liquid ethanol in a beaker oh. and it is at the bottom of the beaker there is some ethanol which is at height z1 suppose it is at height z1 this is the z direction and suppose there is a, there is a stagnant suppose there is some air above stagnant air above the above the ethanol suppose it is denoted by b air is denoted by b this is component b this is the air which flowing around the beaker and here is ethanol is evaporating into air and here the ethanol and air are carried away by the air here the mixture of ethanol vapor plus water uh, plus air is carried away by air so this is the ethanol is evaporating into the stationary region this is the stationary air a is evaporating a is evaporating and it diffusing through non diffusing b the b is non diffusing it is stationary and only ethanol is transferring through the b so the component A which is ethanol at the diffusion of A mean the A is transferring through a non diffusing B. The B is the B is air which is non diffusing and not diffusing in A. So the A is transfer and it and it transfer and it travel in the non diffusing or stationary air which is denoted by component B. And mathematically we have we, uh, we in the previous lecture we have already discussed a relation for this for this type of situation so as we have already know that the total flux is nothing the total flux of component a suppose the component a here is ethanol and component b is air so the total flux of ethanol or component a is nothing but the molar flux which is minus dab the divisivity of ethanol in air and dca concentration of change in concentration of a with respect to change in the direction of z dz this is the dz and this is the dz1 and here is z2 suppose this is z2 at the upper side of the of the um, beaker suppose this is z2 so dca change in concentration of a with respect to z the concentration of a is very high similarly the concentration of a is very small or low or zero it can be considered as zero because it is carried away by air molecule so a in this place a is considered as zero so dca by dz and the mole fraction of a and two in a plus in b we have already discussed this relation this is the combined flux so the combined flux of a is equal to the flux of a due to molecular diffusion which occur in this region this this liquid air interface in this region in this region there is molecular this region a liquid air interface in this region there is molecular diffusion r from this to this we can also consider is molecular diffusion so this is the molecular term and this is the mole fraction of a which carry away by a and b in this direction which is carry away by air so this is the more uh, this is the mole flux molar flux of a molar flux of b and as we know that that b is stationary as b is stationary so the b is not moving and it is stationary so in this place the b is considered zero because there is no molar flux b is not moving 
so b is the in the molar the molar flux of b is zero because b is stationary so we can simplify this relation is n a is equal to minus d a b b c a by d z plus y a n a and as we know that this is the ethanol wafer and this is the uh, uh, air so these are two gases oh. so per gases we can uh, the concentration can be represented in term of partial pressure oh. per gases we can write concentration per gases the concentration can be written in term of partial pressure and as we know that PV is equal to NRT and N by V into RT is equal to P and N by V is nothing but concentration into RT is equal to P so C is equal to P by R T and C A is equal to P A and the R and T are both constant so C A is equal to P A by R T so it can be written in in place of C A so if we take the differential of this term D C A then R and T are constant 1 over R T and this is the D V A so in term of dca so put this dca so in place of dca put dpa by rt so in this place we can put it it so put it minus dab in place of dca we put dpa by rt so d change in partial pressure of a divided by rt change in partial pressure of a with respect to and put also this this is dz plus y a m2 n a so this is also n a now rearrange this equation we can also write it n a minus y a n a is equal to minus d a b divided by r t and to change in partial pressure of a with respect to z direction of and it is nothing but in this place in this z1 as z is equal to z1 the partial pressure of a is p a 1 it is the the pressure of the pressure of ethanol in this place at the liquid air interface is p a 1 similarly the at z is equal to z2 this is at z is equal to z1 p a partial pressure of a is p a1 similarly at z is equal to z2 this is z2 the partial pressure of the is at z is equal to z2 the p a partial pressure of a is p a2 so this is the at z is equal to z1 at z is equal to z1 the p a is equal to p a 1 similarly as z is equal to z 2 p a is equal to p a 2 so we can also re uh, write it the change in partial pressure with respect to z so the partial pressure changes in this direction as we have already discussed so this can be further simplified in a is common so in a is equal to 1 minus y a and 2 minus d a b d p a r t d z o and as you know that y a similarly a y a plus y b is equal to 1 so it can be also written as 1 minus y a is equal to y b it can also be written in term of y b we can rearrange this equation n a is equal to minus d a b d p a by r t 1 minus y a m 2 d z m 2 d z so this is this show that partial this show that with respect to z the partial pressure of a changes o and we will derive this relation in the further in the lecture number 8